Hey YouTube, West Texas Prepper. I want to bring you a quick review on some items that I picked up at Walmart. And I want to give a thanks to Anthony over at Bibles and Barbells. I'll put a link down below to his channel. He's the one that turned me on to these. Um, it's a box, outdoor products. It's a dry box. You can pick up at Walmart, less than $6. This is the medium size. They have a large, and I didn't pick any of those up but uh, did pick up some of the medium boxes. And then they also have a small box. They call this their um, watertight cell phone dry box. You can see that there on the video there. This is the small, this is less than $6 too. They're roughly about the, about the same price. What I did, and you probably saw this uh, depending on when you watch my videos, I used a couple of these boxes this medium sized box in my truck bug out box and what I did I stored ammo in one then I put together a fire kit in the other box and I'm I'm really pleased I've been looking at something to do that but I'd always looked at Pelican or some of the other brands that were you know for a box this size 20 you know 19 20 dollars or something like this for less than six dollars this is a good a good bargain other thing I like about them is that I do geocaching and these are great boxes to go and put geocaches in. You can rough them up a little bit with some sandpaper, spray paint them, camouflage them that way and then go out and hide them. They seal up well, they'll stay dry, seal out moisture and do that. The reason I like these is, and I've got some reviews coming up on some products. Uh, one is an emergency stove from Coglins. I picked these up a while back. Um, really do like them and then also picked up some esbit fire cubes uh, solid solid fuel cubes to use with these stoves i have some reviews coming up on some different things wet fire uh, the esbits and then also the tabs that come with the coglins emergency stove one of the problem when i bought all this stuff is that one of these two really puts off a stink as far as the fuel tabs and i think it's the esbit and I know these work well um, because what I did, I put together a kit that I'm going to show you what I've done so far for the bug out box. I put together a kit and stuck it in here and sealed it up. And as I was getting that stuff ready to put back in the box and put in the truck, I opened this up and, and you could just smell the fumes coming off from the chemicals off the fuel tab. So I know that this is going to do a good job of sealing that up and keeping your cook kit together. Um, what I do... Um, only has two latches on it and then it has a rubber seal you can see this white rubber seal that seals here on the lip and uh, does a real good job sealing this off what I have here is a, just a Coglins emergency stove you can pick these up you can find them online I'll put some links down to some other videos that I have with these uh, this is just a simple fold-out stove but this one comes with 24 fuel tabs that go in here that nestle inside of the stove and I think that's that's a pretty good deal so there's 24 things you can use and that sits and nests down there in the bottom of this kit very nicely I really do like that and then here are the esbit cubes and in this one this one only comes in 12 but the thing I like about these these are individually wrapped in a foil packet and you know they come in strips of threes or you can tear them off and do whatever you need to do but the thing about these is these fit in here and nest in here real nice and if i wanted to i could go in and put another strip as well in there but i'm not going to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in a magnesium fire starter these i picked up at harbor freight got a real good deal on these i'll put a link to that video there and what i'll do is i'll just uh, pop this out of the package and what I'll probably do is go in and take this chain off. These are prone to break and go in with some accessory cord and tie these two together. You can't even, can't even really use these. That's the one thing I don't like about these, but I can go in and put some accessory cord on that. That way you can pull these apart and use them like you need to. But this will go in my fire kit as well. One of the other things that I did in my truck box is I have a tube of waterproof matches that I've put in here as well you can start these cubes with the striker from this uh, or the magnesium but I'm gonna put some matches in there just in case 
So that's a quick little cook kit, fire kit put together. I'll probably have some other things in here. I do have a little bit more room and I'll probably add some to this. If you have any suggestions, just let me know what you would probably do with a kit like this. I would love to, love to hear what you have to say. Uh, but there again, this outdoor products from Walmart, medium box, picked it up less than less than six dollars it was six twelve with some tax or something like that in my local store um, so take a look at these they're good a lot of good uses for this and then also the cell phone i'm probably going to do a fire kit with this with uh, some of the fire steels that i have i've got a video posted on that and putting some things together and one of these this is a real nice kit that you a little easier to store if you don't have to worry about having to cook something. This will be good for putting your fire gear together and keeping it nice and dry. Thanks for watching YouTube. Appreciate it. Leave your comments down below. Please like and subscribe. Appreciate you watching. West Texas Prepper signing off. Do what you can with what you have. Where you're at.